Well, I guess let's keep opening up the chest. Seriously, the big one is gonna spawn like any moment now. And yeah, we can totally wall trick the rat feast from over here, guys, as you can see. But it's not exciting really for me. So I'll try to go here and take the Glock and modded Glock for the challenge. Nothing was stolen. Okay. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, why me? Yo, yo, guys, it is me, Happy Cyric, and welcome back to Last in Earth Survival. So as you can see, my base was destroyed and thieves haven't left any footsteps. So that means I'm not gonna be able to raid anybody's base. We're not gonna be able to do a revenge raid. And this is very sad. Well, filled up this bait chest once again. Hopefully one day I'll be able to get that revenge raid. But today we're going to be doing a normal raid very, very soon. But before that, we have to go to the Jennifer. And we're going to check out if that generator disappeared from the gas station. Because I think over a day passed. So we'll see if the generators disappear from over there. And this is going to be my first time using my new bike. Driving this generator. So this is very awesome. And I still want to unlock that Leviathan pattern. And I do know that some of you already have unlocked that Leviathan pattern. So congratulations for all of those who unlocked that Leviathan pattern. And for those who did not, hopefully me and you are going to unlock it as well. So let's go to the gas station and get a gift to her all of these engines and other garbage. And if I'll have enough time, we're even going to hop to that rest stop event. Maybe, maybe we're going to get something good. But welcome, welcome, people. And uh, I got to go flex in front of Lenny in front of others with my new chopper here. I'm pretty sure not everybody has it. But here we go, let's place it. And uh, where is my generator? Is it still over here? Yes, look at this, guys. This engine is still over here. So it did not disappear, even though the gas station has reset. So in theory, you could probably store a couple of your generators over here if you have too many of them. But I'm not sure. It, probably they still count. This still counts probably as your base. I'm not sure. Because I'm not sure about the number, but I think you, you can have only eight generators and eight engines right now. But um, I think that those that you put here in the gas station, they still count. I can't confirm this, but... I wouldn't suggest you hiding this gener these generators in the gas station because if they're going to remove them or something, you're going to lose them. So do not hide them. But let's place it over here. Boom, we're going to get 1,000 points from the Jennifer. And now we're going to give her all of the rest of the garbage. Let's take the wheel, take the gas tank, take all of my rubber parts, little bit of bolts, some transistors, wrenches, and these thingies. That's it. I think I gave her everything that I had. I did not have any chopper forks. That's a bit sad. Maybe today after we'll be, do we'll be done with the farm, we'll get some chopper forks. But now... Let's go upgrade my bike. We're definitely going to get the loadability. Very nice skill. And we're going to take probably durability, I guess. Let's take the durability. And that's it. There's nothing else that I can take. Okay. So I have almost all of my capacity thingies. Yeah, I still need only one more capacity thingy. And my chopper is going to be, again, fully upgraded. That is awesome. I'm still most likely going to leave this engine over here. Because what is the point of bringing it back to the base? But yeah, right now we have to destroy three pools. Uh, three bulls in order to go for the raid. What is a pool? <laughs> we have to destroy three pools to go for the lane. Yeah. Yeah, but all jokes aside, for real, we have to destroy the bulls. And today I have another idea. I took here a flare gun and you might be asking me, Sarek, why did you take the flare guns? And I took the flare guns because I want to go and destroy the Revenger as quick as possible. I'm seriously going to use a couple of shots from that and the rest are going to be from AKs. I just want that uh, Revenger to melt, like literally in a couple of seconds. I want that Revenger to be destroyed. So we'll see how that's going to work out. Maybe he'll die like in a couple of seconds. Maybe yes, maybe no, because I do know that combining flare guns with AKs is just total insanity. So now, I still want to go and level up as quick as possible because I'm level 198. So soon we're going to be level 200. And I did not take any spread shot. This is seriously big, big mistake. Shouldn't have done that. Should have taken a spread shot or something. But in any case, we're going to deal with them just like this. Just for the sakes of levels. Because otherwise, I would seriously suggest you probably avoiding them using your melee weapons or doing something else here. Because you don't really have to clean the full farm in order to open up that blue crate. And some of you do confirm that you keep getting purple blueprints from the farm. So maybe one day we'll get something cool. And again, the side this part is that Oh yeah, we found the blue uh, the blue thingy. What I wanted to say is that the sad part is that even if I open up the blue chest here, there isn't many blueprints that I can get because the active mod blueprint for your sublet mace for some reason is only available in the police department. I totally don't understand why the developers put that there. It totally makes no sense, but I seriously haven't seen anyone uh, getting a purple sublet mace blueprint, the sublet mace that can spin and stuff like that at the farm. Everybody gets it at the police department and this this is seriously weird. Like I don't understand why. Uh, this is the only melee blueprint that I need. I also need to get my handle for my spear, but that's probably the only bl the only two blueprints that I lack. Other than that, I have all of the blueprints, so this purple thingy isn't really even that much worth it. So I'm gonna go to the top, and as soon as I'll see the Revenger right now, here we go. The Revenger is coming. Let's put that over here. Let's take my flare gun. Let's take the AK, and look at how quickly it is just gonna melt. So in three, two, one, we're gonna start it, guys. In three, two, one, let's do this. One, two. Three shots now with AK. We're gonna look at how he melts. He's melting again. Three shots. One, two, 
three. Again, AKA just melting. Look at his HP. Now again, one, two, three. And AK just totally melts. Oh my goodness. Shredded. Like this is how you deal with a Revenger. Couple of seconds and he's dead. Uh, I don't know if I could have done that any faster. Probably if you used here, you know, like a grenade launcher. Yeah, obviously you would destroy him totally way faster. Like probably 10 shots and that's it. But it would be a huge waste of grenade launcher. And I'm not going to be doing that anytime soon unless grenade launchers are going to become as common as grass. Then yeah. But I totally forgot that we have to destroy bulls. Now going to still save my AK and my flare gun as flare guns are kind of awesome. I do believe that one day flare guns are going to be more important and uh, we're going to find another usage. But now let's deal with the three bulls because we got to go and do the raid. Here we go. One bull uh, said goodbye. Another rotten yokel and still two more bulls left. Here we go. There's one bull. We're going to deal with it. I mean, bulls are kind of cool at the farm, but I definitely believe that they could play a better purpose here because right now they don't drop anything and they are just kind of guarding. But I do believe that for the first time when you see the bulls, they definitely make you go, wow. Because at least that's uh, what they made me feel when I saw the bulls for the first time at the farm. And they're really strong. They're really awesome. Wish they made some sounds and some really ominous sounds and they could drop some rarer loot or... I don't know, that would be cool. I think more people would destroy them and they would be really awesome enemies in the at the farm. They really have potential to be the best, but yeah, who knows. Now let's open up the farm and I wouldn't be surprised if somebody just seriously jumped me right now because every time I come here to the farm, I start opening up the shelf. Uh, I usually have some random dudes attacking me. Yeah, just like I said, look at this. Now we have here Rotten Yokos. Most likely Savage Giant is coming with them as well. Yeah, look at it. Just like I said, there is the Savage Giant coming all the time, baby, all the time. But at least these are not raiders because sometimes raiders attack you and i'm not sure if raiders now drop here at least good durability weapons and i don't have to forget to take black paint because i'm seriously really really low on black paint after painting my chopper into that whatever it's called forgot about it okay my bobby the dog helped me out thank you so much for helping me out while i was sorting out the inventor yeah the paragon pattern i did craft the paragon pattern with those black paints but now i'm seriously super low on black paint so if there's any other new paint that i'll need to unlock i won't have it but again it's so awesome that we don't have to use any more paint for the choppers you just paint it once and you're going to be able to use it forever. So that's kind of cool. Kind of sad that they didn't save our old paints because I do know that a lot of people used a lot of paint to repaint their chopper to other paints. Like, for example, somebody used their black paint to get the skull pattern. Probably some of you had, like, let's say, really, really low amount of white paint and you painted your chopper to, like, winter pattern or whatever other one. And now it's gone. So that that's totally sad that developers did not save our old patterns that we have already repainted in the past. But, I mean, still, the change is good. Now I'll be able to switch between my white Viper, rainbow, and between this paragon pattern constantly. So let's get back to the top. Let's open up the blue crate and let's see what kind of garbage we're going to get today. As long as it's not going to be like, you know, some sort of makeshift bad blueprint, a baseball bad blueprint, a bow blueprint. So if I'm going to get any other thing than those, then I'll be happy. But mark my word, this is going to be like makeshift bad blueprint or some other garbage that literally no one uses. So let's place that inside and let's just see. See, see, what kind of goodies are we going to get inside? Maybe the farm is going to open up as well, but I kind of doubt it. Super sad that I did, did not take my spread shot. Spread shot here would be just awesome. And uh, I hate... Did I did I mention that I hate diseased wolves? I think in every single episode I say, say how diseased wolves are annoying. But, like, seriously, guys, diseased wolves are super annoying. Let's heal up. And going to use my AK now to deal with those dudes because they are just in my way. If I had spread shot, dude, I would save so much durability of the AK. But whatever, who cares, am I right? Savage Giant, say goodbye. Another Savage Giant, say goodbye as well. The only reason why I'm dealing with all of these Savage Giants is, like I said, I just want to level up as quick as possible. I want to be level 200, and then I'll be able to do the farm a more efficient way. But as of right now, level 200 is what I want, and this is what we are going to get. Not today, definitely, but in a few days, maybe a week. I think we should be able to be... Wow, look at how many Frenzy Giants there are. Are you kidding me? What's up? These are Savage Giants. Yeah, there are so many Savage Giants left. What? I totally did not expect this. I'm going to run out of weapons. I just have, like, literally only one AK and like two M16s left and that's it. So especially for this farm. Oh, oh no, they're almost gone. So it's not a big deal. Really thought that it was worse. Okay, my doggo got tired. No, I want to come back home with not tired doggo. If we're going to get here a doggo treat, I'm still not going to feed it. We're going to feed it at home or somewhere else. So now let's open up the blue chest and inside we're going to get the oak handle. I Like I said, better than getting any garbage for my bow. So let's take these valuable survivor notes. Yep, we did level up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Soon we're going to be 199. That's cool 
maybe even today, if I'll be lucky enough. We will see, so. I mean, gonna take the paint, because now paint is kind of awesome. It's kind of worth it to unlock all of your patterns, because you put the paint, you unlock them, so that's definitely worth it, at least in my opinion. And let's take the poppy somehow, some way. Here we go, poppy, come to my pocket, boop. Shepherd, poppy, very awesome. And let's loot the chest, and if we're gonna get here a fork, I'm gonna give it to Jennifer, just like right now, and we did not get the fork, we got a wheel, okay. Still definitely wheel is better than nothing, but fork would have been better. So I'm totally ready now to go for the raid, as you can see, I took a lot of hatchets, but before we go anywhere else, we have to go and watch this chopper. I'm gonna be watching it all the time, day and night, baby, because this is really amazing pattern and it definitely deserves to be watched. So we're gonna be raiding this base named Leo and I've done some research on it and by the looks of it, this is not going to be our typical uh, good old 3x3 three three room. It looks like it's going to be pretty interesting. There are gonna be a lot of chests to open up, but still have no idea if loot is going to be good. But I would love to talk about this zombie truck. Where is it? Here we go. This is the zombie truck that I would love to talk about because a few days ago, developers have shared with us this sneak peek or a picture or whatever that is and there they basically said that sometimes their vision doesn't match with the current version of last dinner so they said that nobody knows if zombie truck is ever coming out or no so that's a bit sad because zombie truck really really looks pretty dope and it's like a pretty awesome idea but the whole point of this zombie truck was that it would allow you to set up other bases on the map so i don't know if it would ever be able to like have another base over here or how would that even work i think that they implemented that zombie truck in the very beginning of last on earth and they didn't really expect that last day on earth is going to be like this so that's why probably zombie jock is still not in the game maybe one day it would be really awesome just at least to see it you know as a model in some sort of event it doesn't really have to come to the game but at least like a model of some sort of that would be kind of cool but when we click here on the down thing on this house with a plus it basically says build new base you need to craft and assemble a zombie truck to build more bases so i don't really know how would that even work it doesn't really fit in the last day on earth like seriously like how where are you going to build another base what is the point of another base so i I think that's why we still did not get the zombie truck but like i said it would be really awesome to see at least the model of it somewhere because as we saw there in this screenshot the model of the zombie truck is already developed so it would be cool to see it well first of all we're gonna go and place my c4 in the chopper because just in case if i'll need a c4 even though i think that we do not need anything instead of this truck we got nothing and now I don't even know where we're gonna start chopping it down from. I do know that probably from the top somewhere over here, you can do something. So I think that's what I am gonna do. I'm gonna chop down this door and we're gonna start our adventures from over there. This dude does have like two bait chests outside of the base, like one over there and one in the down, but I'm not sure if they have any loot. So I don't think I'll be trying that out. So he has a lot of and a lot of chests here. So that's why I said that this base is going to be kind of awesome and interesting to raid because it's just not simple three by three and three chests inside. It is going to be a bit more interesting. And I just want to see if he is going to have any other any other stuff. So I'm going to chop down this level one wall as it doesn't really do a lot of noise. So here we're going to destroy this. And uh, okay, got to try to destroy one more. I think that this is maybe just going to be like some sort of decoy or bait thing. Yeah, I'm not even going to start chopping it down. Whatever, I think it's a lie. I don't think he's gonna have any other chests over there. First of all, let's chop down all of these chests because he has a lot of them. And should we damage all of these chests with three hits? Like always, yeah, let's just do it by the good old tradition. So three hits to this one, and I have to do three hits to this chest, and that is it. Here we go. One, two, three. Here we go. All the chests are damaged. Now let's deal with this wave of zombies and let the adventure begin. I do believe that we won't be able to open up all of the chests before the big one spawns, but uh, I'm at least gonna try to open up all of the colorful chests. So let's try to destroy this green one, baby. Boom. And let's try to destroy these two blue chests, and we are gonna see what we're gonna get inside. But again, another wave of zombies. Are you kidding me? Get out of my base. This is not my base, but you got the point. Zombies did not get the point, so that's why they're gonna get shredded, though. Mm -hmm. Well, here we go. Everything is clean. Now let's heal up. Totally wasted that first aid kit, but whatever. Inside of the green chest, we're gonna get a little bit of stones. Best raid ever, baby. 10 out of 10. Let's get back home. I'm joking. This is such a... Whew. So sad, literally sad. Okay, inside of this one, we're gonna get a little bit of paint. You know what? Gotta take the paint. I think that paint became ca uh, kind of valuable right now. Like, it's just for the looks, right? But I wanna unlock all of the patterns there, because right now we can literally pay for all the patterns and you'll be able to use them and switch between all of the patterns all the time so probably that's what i am gonna do that's what i'm gonna pick up all of the paint because i'll try to unlock as much pa paint as possible as many patterns as possible that's what i'm trying to say so so far uh base does not have anything i guess seriously that's so sad okay we're gonna chop down this chest maybe inside we're gonna get something awesome okay just planks 
Okay, inside of these two chests. Still probably no zombies are gonna spawn. So inside of this chest, we are gonna get totally just broken stuff, dude. We're gonna take three wheels, though. Like, seriously, the Jennifer is gonna like this. And truck saw blade. We just spoke about the truck and we got the truck saw blade here. Do you think that's coincidence? I think not. And inside, we're gonna get a little bit of carrots, some coal. Let's take it as there's no other things to take here anyways. We're gonna chop down one more chest and the wave of zombies definitely has spawned. We're gonna take some planks and let's deal with the wave of zombies with this snap transition because why not if you want more snap transition smash that like button mm-hmm Okay, so thank you for smashing that like button. I do trust you that you smashed it and uh, let's just snap transition ourselves to our chopper And now we're gonna fill it out with some sort of garbage. Well, I guess this is going to be better than nothing Let's get back to the base. Well, I guess let's keep opening up the chest Seriously, the big one is gonna spawn like any moment now and I still did not open up all the chests. Should I do some more research? I mean, we're gonna take the bull bags. Where were they when I needed them? So I've done some research and I still do not know where what we're gonna get, but I do know that this chest is gonna have something awesome. So yes, indeed, we're gonna get this alcohol and I need this to craft more first aid kits. So let's take this and I think that now we're gonna destroy the rest of the chests. Like seriously, the big one is gonna spawn now any moment. So uh, I don't even know if it's worth it, if it's really worth all the struggle here. Like seriously, dude, I think we're gonna get nothing. Okay, inside of this chest, uh, we are gonna get some of that. Yeah, I think we're gonna just exit it. Okay, so the big one have spawned. We gotta get out of here. So I've done some more research on this base, and by the looks of it, it really doesn't have anything amazing there. So I didn't have to use any C4. This base gets Sykes approval, but just because I didn't have to use any C4s and I was able to fill up my inventory with garbage. Otherwise, it's a pretty sad base. So now we're totally ready to go to police department, and uh, there we're gonna kill that new boss, the dead face. But first of all, I wanna go call the dealer and see what kind of things I can give for him. Okay, so duct tape, transistors, and rubber parts. Let's go. Well, hopefully I have enough of everything so let's go pay a visit to our dealer, the Joe. And the only reason why we're gonna do this is because I still have that task to make five deals with the dealer. So I still have four deals left because I've already made one. I <laughs> sired the businessman making deals with the dealer. <laughs> and probably the dealer Joe still has not seen me with my new chopper. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna totally flip out about that when he's gonna see it. He's gonna be like, oh my God, dude, is that real? And yep, it's totally real. So here we're gonna definitely show off with that. I think this is the biggest bike in less than earth so far. But what is up, dealer? What do you think about my new ride? But uh, here we go, let's make the deal. Take this, take my transistors and take the rubber parts. Give me the box and inside of the box, please give me a grenade launcher and five grenades. At least that and we got a machete. Who, dude, I hate you. Seriously, I hate you so much. Wait, for some reason now he loses health even faster than he's ever done that before. Like for some reason, I don't understand. But whatever, let's not waste the Glock on him. It, he's gonna still have only one HP left. So even if we kill him, he's not gonna drop anything. Would be awesome if he dropped like full durability M16. Even though probably I would have to use like five M16s to deal with that. Okay, we got a chop prevent. Can't miss it. Can't seriously guys miss this. Have enough stuff. We're gonna go over there. And then we're definitely gonna go to the police department. Maybe even to Bunker Alpha. Because I still have a couple of green and orange tickets to open that up. So we gotta do it. And maybe I'll get a fork and I'll be able to give that to Jennifer. Because I do know that we'll be able to unlock that Leviathan if we're gonna get the style skill or something. So I don't know. I just want to get that Leviathan. I think Leviathan looks cooler than this Paragon pattern. But again, this is just my opinion and uh, we'll be able to switch out between both of them anyway. So whatever we got here, a baseball bat. Kind of trashy, but whatever. This dude it dropped us a machete. Did he drop us though? Yes, he dropped the full durability machete. What? We got a full durability machete, full durability pipe. Like, is that a joke or did they fix something? And did this dude drop something? He dropped us a Glock. What? Is that just luck? Wait, dude, sometimes you're just gonna get crap and sometimes you're gonna get awesome stuff. Because these dudes seriously drop really awesome stuff. I think this is the first time after the, 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 the bug fix where we are gonna get cool items. I don't understand stuff with that. Well, whatever. Now, let's loot uh, this chopper here. And it's like, full durability M16. What? What? Did they br bring them back? Or is that just luck? I do believe that this is just luck, guys. We got a full durability zip gun, dude. Ooh, hoo, hoo. And another wave of zombies. Are you kidding me? Baba the dog, attack. Go on, shred them. I do know that we could just lure them around. But again, I ain't got no time here to lure them around. But that's what I'm doing on my other account. But here, uh, I don't have time to wait. I'm not planning to wait. And here, here we go. Another wave of zombies to spawn. Do I get any experience? Yeah, I get 57 XP from that. So probably should have taken that zip gun. There are some people who are flipping out right now. Oh my God, Zach, how did you take that zip gun? Zip gun is the best weapon ever. 
I used zip gun to kill the big one. This is so awesome, but I do not use zip guns here. Zip guns are just waste of space. Mm -hmm. I mean, zip guns cool to recycle if you have the task to recycle three guns, though. So maybe I should have taken that zip gun, but again, I probably still have like 10 zip guns at the base. So not a big deal. But now let's go to Blackport PD. And there I will try to deal with the with the new boss, the dead face. And uh, we're going to try to do the wall trick because some of you said that it's possible to do the wall trick. I didn't even try doing the wall trick because, again, uh, it's not really fun to kill the dead face with the wall trick, at least for me. I love the gameplay aspect and uh, it's more interesting and I feel more excited luring him around this place rather than killing him with the wall trick because wall trick is less stressful than doing this. But we're going to try both of them. Now let's open up five green boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. And let's see what kind of goodies are we going to get inside. And here we're going to open up. An M16 already best crate, green crate opening. Can go back to the base. Another M16. What? Uh, here is a zip gun mod that I already have. Here we're going to get a shotgun. Dude. Dude. Uh, give me here a grenade launcher. Okay. And machete. And inside here, M16. Literally, guys, out of five green, we got four guns. If this is not insane, I have no idea what is not insane then. Seriously. Wow. Like, I don't know how cool that is. Like, this is seriously seriously super amazing like three m16s and one shotgun that is probably one of the best green crate openings i've done in forever okay so i'm gonna start getting hungry very soon so let's deal with this zombie officer let's deal with these couple of zomzoms and uh then we're gonna go and bring here the dead face as Ain't nobody got time to wait for that. And that's what I'm talking about. That's why you should not get rid of your green cards. I said that so many times already. And some of you are going to be like, Oh my God, sorry, please stop talking about those green cards. But seriously, guys, green cards are so awesome. Do not exchange your green cards. And if you have like 100 green cards, keep them and keep opening them up every three days. And whatever amount of guns you used in the police department to do, let's say you're 50 waves, it's going to pay off at least. That's what happens with me. Here we go. There is going to be the dead face. We're going to go back and uh, I'll try to shred. Okay, it's rat face, not the dead face. Wait, what is the dead face? Dead face, some sort of other zombie. Wait, can I actually go and lure him around from over here? Oh, yeah, we can do the wall trick from over here, guys. Wait, uh, I think we can take here my katana, switch that behind over here and wait. Yeah, we can totally wall trick the rat face from over here, guys, as you can see. Wall trick that guy just like this. But it's not exciting really for me, so I'll try to go here and take the Glock. And modded Glock for the challenge? Yeah, let's use the unmodded Glock for the challenge. This is pretty cool. I like it way more than... It's at least more fun. It's seriously super fun to lure him around because you're actually playing the game. But say with the wall trick, it's, you're still playing the game, not just holding one button as you're fighting with other zombies. So I do like Rat Feast as a boss. Pretty cool. And we totally shredded him into tiny smithereens. Sad that he does not drop anything, but this is probably one of my favorite boss just because you can lure him around and it's it's it adds another level of skillfulness to the game, even though some people say, well, Sarek, this is not skillful at all. This is seriously garbage boss. Like, it's so easy. And uh, we're not talking about hard and easy there. If we're speaking like this, there is nothing hard and last on earth, but... It's definitely more skillful rather than just holding one button and healing up. So I love this boss. Super interesting. It's not that it requires like a lot of brain and super a lot of skill to do it. I'm not say saying in this aspect that it's super skillful. Like, hey, it's super hard to kill. All I'm just saying that it's skillful to kill him because it is more interesting and it requires your attention in the game rather than just like me fighting with this hungry chopper. I don't care. I can just hold one button. And he's gonna die. This is not skillful at all. Just holding one button. Not fun. With Rat Feast, I have to lure him around. And that's what's fun. So hopefully you understood what I'm trying to say here. Let's take my shoes. Very awesome. Oh, and I just looted this guy's vending machine. And we got here an energy drink. So this is awesome. Here we go. Let's take that with me. So make sure to always loot that vending machine if you weren't looting it yet. Wait, how did I get a C4? I was sorting out here my inventory. And did I have this C4 from previous raid somehow, some way? Or... Oh, yeah. I probably took it out from my chopper. Okay. I really thought that I got a C4 here from the green crate. Okay. So we'll open up a couple of crates here at the bunker alpha. And look at this. We still have this generator and I still cannot pick it up because I still have probably over eight generators. I'm not sure if eight is the right number, but at least that's what I've heard from a lot of you that if you have uh, more than eight generators, you won't be able to pick up other ones, but I'm not sure if that's true or no. I did not test it myself. And I do know that if you're going to have like, let's say 20 generators at the base, but you still will be able to pick up engines. But if you're going to have 20 engines at the base, you will still be able to pick up generators. You got the point. Both of the engines and generators don't count together. They count as separate thingies. So I guess you got the point. What I'm trying to say here and now, let's take my tickets. Where are they? 
Yes, we have enough of those. We have enough of those, but I still don't have enough red. Maybe one day we'll be able to open up the red crate now. It does not even matter, but yeah, I want to see if this still generator exists in Bone Corral, but it did reset and most likely the generator disappeared. And yes, indeed, last time I placed here the generator and now it's gone. So, so everything that you put here is going to be reset, obviously. And uh, now let's say hello to our scammer, the specialist. We're going to give him this one Chevron and three ID tags because I had them for some reason in my base. And uh, all I need now is my green and orange crate. If I get my uh, chopper fork, I'll go to Jennifer and I'm going to give that to her. If no, well, I'm just going to be a little bit sad. In any case, we're still going to get here three guns. So that's cool. Three free guns, baby, basically. Not really free, but you got the point. Let's open up one. Uh, boop. And let's open up now the second crate. Here we go. Kind of sad that I don't need to grind for any ball bearings. Kind of sad that I don't have any more purpose. I wish... Like, the, it was really fun. What I'm trying to say here, that it was really fun when I had to grind for those ball bearings. Uh, at least opening up those crates, I was like, well, let's get the ball bearings. At least that's something what I wanted. So I want more items like this in the game that would thrive me, that would motivate me to search for something. Because it was fun right now when I opened these crates. I really don't care what we're going to get inside. But before, I really wanted those ball bearings. So hopefully, I'll be able to get more ball bearings in the future. And now let's open up another crate. And inside, we're going to get engine part and a chopper wheel. Nothing really too much special. Mm-hmm. Well, we got an Wizzy. Wizzy is always appreciated. So I listed this to checking out this last Dinner survival video where we've met a mysterious character. Or click on the second card and you will go to my Minecraft Let's Play. I already made a couple of videos on Minecraft, so hopefully you're gonna enjoy it. Or hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I've played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure to drop that subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And smash that like button. Mm-hmm. Yo.